Hey guys, Brick Queen here with the Superman and Crypto team up set number 76096. This set originally cost about $20 when it came out, I believe in January, around January of 2018. Um, so it's been out for a while. So you're probably wondering why I'm just now reviewing it. Um, actually, I did not get this when it first came out. Um, I picked this set up at Toys R Us when they were going out of business. So I got it for half price, which was awesome because I was wanting the set, not really wanting to pay full price, even though it's really not a bad price for the set. Um, but uh, before I really get started in this, I would love for you guys to just take a guess in the comments. What do you think my favorite part of this set is? Because you probably can guess it. You, most of my fans probably know me well enough. You know what I'm going to say before I say it about this set. Um, overall, it's a pretty cool little set. Um, I do think it's actually worth the $20, although there is something confusing about it, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but hopefully you've all had time to guess what you think my favorite part is. And I'll go ahead and, well, actually, no, I will tell you. Uh, closer to the end of the video. Um, so anyway, uh, the first thing we have over here, this is Lobo's Space Hog. It's kind of a cool name for this, uh, which I like. I do like the uh, skeleton face on the front of it. It looks really cool. It looks like teeth and horns and it just looks awesome. Um, and it's a really nice design for this. Um, it does have kryptonite stud shooters up there. And I will uh, take Lobo off and look at him separately in just a minute. Um, so this is what I think, or is part of what I think is the confusing thing on this. So um, you have the ability to drop bombs with this uh, space hog, basically. And what you do is you push this part, this center uh, green flame, uh, you push that in and it pops this piece out. Now, let me show you what is so confusing about this set. Maybe somebody in the comments can explain to me uh, the point of this, because to me this doesn't make sense. So you drop this, which I thought was supposed to be a bomb, out of uh, the Space Hog, which even if it's not a bomb, it's still something that Lobo is dropping out. But the point of this is you take this part over here, and slide it in here, and that kind of pops this out and frees Superman. So if Superman is fighting Lobo, why is this from that <laughs> used to free Superman? Can someone please explain that to me? Because I don't understand. Maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong, I don't know, uh, but just looking at it right now, it doesn't make sense to me that this would be used to free him, but it is. So I must be missing something here uh, because this set doesn't make sense to me. I, I wanted the figures out of it. I wanted the space hog. It looks cool. Um, but anyway, let, let's take a look at this part um, that is being used to uh, encapsulate Superman here. This uh, little kryptonite cage, basically. Uh, it does look cool. It's got some, some nice stickers on each side here. Um, looks like this side is at max. Um, I think this is a cool little design. I just do not get the whole, like, this, oh, like, set. This saves Superman. I don't get it. I've got to be missing something, and I hope somebody in the comments can explain this to me. Because at the moment, the set makes no sense uh, for that. So anyway... <laughs> Um, we do have some awesome minifigures in the set. We have Superman here. We've got, uh, you know, his red eye version. And then you also have, like, Superman's smiling face, which I w would assume that would be after he gets out of his little kryptonite cage over there. Um, and just a little bit of back printing. Uh, I don't think this is, like, a new Superman or anything, so it's not, like, anything super amazing. Actually, what's cool in this set is Lobo, which is a brand new character this year, and also Crypto, which I think this is actually the second version of Crypto, technically. I think we got a, another one in 2017. 
but this is my favorite part of the set <laughs> and you guys probably guessed it in the comments um, but I, I just love Crypto. I think he's so cute. Just this little dog uh, with the little Superman collar and he's even got this little little red cape. It's just awesome. I absolutely love this. Um, and I like the uh, the mold that they used for uh, for this and of course you can you can take this off. So you can remove the cape if you want to. But why would you want to? He just looks so cute with the cape on. So let me set him back down. Um, and then we also, like I said, we have Lobo over here. And this that he's holding is a energy infuser. Kind of kind of cool looking. Um, so Lobo, uh, like I said, this is a brand new character this year. I think they did a good job designing it. Um, I like his long hair. And you can see he's got a really nice printed torso, really nice printed face. And he does have a double-sided face and also really awesome printing on the back that says the main man. So I really like this, this minifigure. I think they did a great job designing it and it just looks cool. He does look a little creepy um, smiling that wide, but uh, you know, that kind of makes sense for him. So no complaints there, uh, none at all. Um, and you do get these extra uh, you know, little, little pieces here like this and these over here that you can use um, to, uh, you know, just play with the set basically, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, that uh, one little part of that being um, released from here, which I thought was a bomb. I believe that's supposed to be a bomb. Somebody in the comments, please explain to me why Lobo drops a bomb to free Superman and then fights him. Um, or tell me if I'm completely wrong. Tell me if I have completely misunderstood the whole set. Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm very curious. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and explanations in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.